major stress point I see is when people unnecessarily compare themselves to somebody else, particularly in material things, you know, about somebody's house, about somebody's car. Like, I mean, whoever you are, there is going to be somebody smarter than you, somebody dumber than you, somebody richer than you, somebody poorer than you. There's always going to be there, you know, it's an endless chain, unless you are the richest man in the world like Bill Gates. So this whole point of comparison is going to end in a bottomless pit. I think the ideal comparison you should do is with yourself. What you are capable of, what you could be and where you are. You, you are destined to be there, you have the capacity to be there and you are here. That is the comparison. You rise up slowly in your skills, in your talent, in your work and you reach your true potential. That is the ultimate comparison and that's the right comparison you should do, I think. What you are and what you can be. You, you're happily at home, you know, waiting for your husband to come. You made a lovely meal and you imagine that this guy is going to come, appreciate the meal and say, wow, darling, that was great. And then this guy walks in and says, hey, sorry, I just had uh, dinner with my friend, see you, and he goes and sleeps off. You go nuts, right? That stresses you so much because you had picturized something so beautiful in your mind and reality is something else. That happens all the time. There is a mental picture of something in your mind, you know, perhaps it's about your work, about your relationship, about the, your income, whatever. But the reality is something else. You go from here to the airport, you're happily ready, and then you get into a traffic jam, and the security queues so much. Everything hassles you, because you're expecting a very smooth ride. You didn't expect it. So the whole thing is a thing, the difference in your mind, in your picture, and the reality which happens. So I think one of this has to change, and you make a step forward. See, my, my, my mother used to tell me, don't waste money, it doesn't grow on trees. It's a very popular Indian concept. Money doesn't grow on trees, isn't it? So where does money come from? Where do I get money? Either he has to give me or she has to give me or you have to give me, isn't it? Money comes from other people. And when do they part of the money? I'm not going to part of my money, simply. When do they part of their money? When will they give you money? When you add value, some value to their life. I'll give 1,200 bucks if some, uh, to a stand-up comedy and he makes me laugh. If he gives me a good experience, I'm willing to part with my money, right? Or I go to a cricket match, I spend money on the IPL. Why? It gives me so much of thrill. When somebody inspires me with his thought, his words, his action, I'll part with my money. So the only way you can make money is when you add some value to somebody's life. If you can reduce my working time, you go, if I can delegate some work to you, I'm willing to part with my money to you. So you either make things easier for somebody or you speed up somebody's work or you're some, of some service to somebody, that is when money comes in your hands. And if you want to increase your income, the only way you can increase is add more and more value to others' lives. Make yourself so capable, increase your skills so much that people are willing to pay for it. Or increase the number of people you add value to. You make a brilliant idea, you know. You invent windows, the whole world is benefited and you become the richest man in the world. That's how it works. Think of something which benefits a lot of people and you make a lot of money. <laughs> One of my favorite quotes was on a placard in uh, Director K. Balachandar's office. He was my mentor. And he had a placard saying, today is the first day of the rest of your life. I think that's a fabulous thing. Whatever you decide today. Okay, till yesterday, okay man, I goofed up. I was a mess. But from today, I decide. Now you see what I can become. That I think is a great thing to say. When you're coming here on this road, there's a board there. No U-turn. Life doesn't have that board at all. You can take a U-turn anytime you want. It's just on you to decide that now you see a new me, a fresh me, I'll show who I am. Of course, it's going to be tough. Obstacles are going to be there. See, why do you enjoy a cricket match, Durgesh? Why do you enjoy a football match? Or why do you enjoy this game so much? Because somebody is trying to hit a sixer, but the other man's idea is only to make him out. Every cricket ball starts with the idea of making the batsman out. He is a clever guy. He'll hit a sixer. He'll hit a four. 
He's got the skill. That's how everything is. Everybody is trying to stop you. What's football about? You want to reach the goal. If there is no opponent at all, you just go and put the ball. What's the fun? The whole idea of the opposite team is to block you. So I think life itself is designed that way. You want something so badly and the whole world says, we will not allow you to get this. And you just roll up your sleeve and say, you think so? You underestimated me, boy. I'll show you who I am. That is what it's about. 